welcome to Totally Integrated Instrumentation. Today we're going to have a look at integrating the new Citrans LR110 into um, our standalone PCS7 maintenance station project. So what you can see here is three screens that you can have hope open within your project and you're probably going to need to use all three of these so the first one is the standalone element of somatic pdm which you can see here on the left hand side then in the middle is the process process object view which we'll use to generate the maintenance station screens and then at the end we have the component view and we have to do two things here when we add our device it's going to create uh, a maintenance station CFC which we're going to have to download to our virtual PLC which you can see now it just popped up there that's the virtual PLC that maintenance station uses and then we're going to need to compile the OS to, to, to finish it off so the device itself is physically connected to channel 1 so I can see this this channel here, channel zero, uh, I have uh, an LU240 connected to that, and this channel, channel one, has nothing. So um, if I insert a new object, address zero, so uh, we always, when we're connecting in this particular case, I'll put this over here to a ET200SP heart input card. Um, each one of these, the address is always zero on the instrument, so you don't have to change anything. And it, we're not doing multi-drop, where it's a single connection for each instrument. So assign the device, and then what we can do is we can manually select it, or we can click on device identification. And there we have the EDD for the new radar device. So it's the 100 series, so it covers all three models. And that's added it to my project. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to open that. So the first thing we need to do is upload the parameters to our workstation. There's the upload finished. And it's pulled in my, my tag information. So just have a, a quick look because it's the first time I've used this at some of the quick start wizard features. So we'll have a look at programming this as a, a level device. So here we can program it up for solids. I'm going to leave it in demo mode because it, it just reacts a, a lot quicker in there. Um, it, it's, it's got no filtering. So we wouldn't really recommend that for you know applications where there's, there's fixed obstructions in the vessel. But the narrow beam angle is always going to help us on this device. So my low cal calibration point here is 10 meters. And this particular radar has zero near blanking. Um, but you can, of course, program because uh, your, your upper point, because this is what your 20 milliamps is going to represent. So it might be a safety reason that you're programming your 100% not right up to the face of the transducer. And then we do an apply. So quick start successful and we can save that. The radar is set up with its basic operating parameters but really importantly for maintenance station and going forwards with the SAM IQ app is the tags. So we'll save that. So just to pull the tag in to the top screen you can update diagnostics It's relatively easy because we've, we've only added one device. So the next thing we need to do is to, to allow maintenance station to generate the diagnostic screens. And to do that on your process, process object view, right click the diagnostics, plant hierarchy, and then create update, update diagnostic screens. So 
So once you've done that, we just need to download because it would have created one of these blocks. So changes only, we're going to download this to, to the virtual PLC. So that's that. And then the last part is to compile the visualization side of the project. So here I have my uh, standalone maintenance station. So I go to my diagnostics, just waiting for it to update after its first startup. Um, so we installed this onto the ET200SP. And uh, you can see it there, the um, LR110 demo unit. And if I go to my diagnostics, I can see that I, I have good diagnostic comms. So what I'm going to do is just quickly to, to test this. I'm going to log on to PDM now with the web browser. And under here, it's just a different way of opening PDM, but as I said, it's with a web browser, so you can web enable these pages. So there you can see um, I've gone online with PDM. So the beauty of Maintenance Station, it's not just a data collector for, for SAM IQ. I can use it to configure my instruments, check my diagnostics, but also check my process values completely independent of my main PLC or SCADA. So there you have it. Um, the new Citrans LR100 radar integrated into um, Siemens um, standalone maintenance station. This is version two. Uh, we are on version three, but um, the functionality is the same. So relatively easy to do. I hope you found it useful and please tune in to, to future blogs. Thanks for listening.